We are here at the Banjo Ferry Terminal about to cross to the other side of the country. But whilst we join this ferry to cross to the other side, we'll equally find out if the social distancing guidelines are being practiced at this level. Join me inside. It is evident that the number of people who bought the ferry to cross from Banjul to Bara or Bara to Banjul have significantly reduced. This could largely be blamed on the emergence of the novel coronavirus and some of the public emergency regulations imposed by government. Many have decided to stay at home or limit their travels. Whilst on the ferry, some of the passengers did practice social distancing as they can be seen sitting apart from each other. Others, despite the availability of empty seats, totally disregarded the social distancing guidelines. One of the passengers, however, blames the lack of respect for the guidelines on the ferry's management. On the ferry, there is zero social distancing. Look at the terminal here and the waiting rooms. They filled with people. The officials should control it. Even up here, they should direct people to sit properly. This other guy who walks in the ferry disagrees, saying passengers don't listen to them. All we can do is talk. If we talk to them, they don't listen. There isn't much we can do again because we can't force them. We have safely arrived on the north bank side of the country, which is the Barra Ferry Terminal. Whilst on the ferry, we could see that some people were sitting apart whilst others were totally disregarding the social distancing guidelines that have been put forward by both the WHO and the, and the Ministry of Health. The problem, however, appears to be when people are entering and leaving the ferry, as that is the instance where everyone comes into close contact with each other. Whilst on the ferry, we could not spot any official that is here to guide people as to how they are supposed to sit. We could see empty seats around, but no one to tell them that they are supposed to sit at least one meter apart from each other. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Labin Fall.